I hate that this has happened. I hate that this is what it takes to draw us together. A community is coming together tonight in the face of tragedy, a 13-year-old boy murdered. Good evening, I'm Sean Maroney. And I'm Sharon Taswell. A vigil tonight honored 13-year-old Keyshawn Gregory. Raleigh police say Keyshawn was shot and killed Friday night while out with friends. Three teens are now charged in connection with that murder. WNCN's Derek Waller is live in Raleigh, where his friends and basketball teammates gathered. Derek. Sharon, you know that basketball was a big part of Keyshawn's life, and those who knew him say he was smart enough to know that if he stayed in school and practiced, that he could find a better life for him and his family. That is why that basketball is at the center of this memorial here tonight. Tragically, though, his life was cut short. One, two, three, 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 three two, one. Three, three. It's a group huddle in honor of a teammate gone way too soon. Keyshawn Gregory was a member of a youth basketball club called the Swiss City Magic. His teammates lit candles in his honor, showing up tonight in full force at Jones and State Street at the spot where the 13-year-old was found dead on Friday night. Tyreek Rowe even stood up and read a poem. What it meant to lose you, no one can ever know. Keyshawn's coaches said he had big plans to use his talent on the court to get him out of his East Raleigh neighborhood. We talked about his future. We talked about his dreams. And that was the thing that's like, these kids got real dreams. He played hard, he worked hard, and he wanted a better way. You know, and, 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 and that's all you can ask for, kid. And I ask you for again. Emotional song and prayer brought Keyshawn's mother to tears. I hate that this has happened. I hate that this is what it takes to draw us together. And community leaders who knew Keyshawn, like the head of the state's Association of Educators, tried to rally for change. You know, I see all of the Black Lives Matters. What matters to me is that it matters to us. It's got to matter to us. It can't be everybody else out there preaching Black Lives Matters. It's got to matter to black people. And back out here live, those candles have been lit here since Keyshawn was murdered last week. Now, his team has a game tomorrow. His coaches say that game will be dedicated in his honor, and I'm told that funeral arrangements have been made for next week. We're live in Raleigh. Derek Waller, WNCA News. A life taken way too soon. Derek, thank you.